What's up, everybody? How are you? It ain't how I normally do it, but I figured I'd change it up a little bit. Let me do it. Hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you guys love the technical difficulties? All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it. It is the So Mixed Up podcast with Yashua and Margarita. I'm Yashua. You already know who this is. Oh, my it's funny bone. Um, this is episode something or another because I don't remember. Let's go 55. Why not? Sounds good. <laughs> Why'd you be like, nah, it's 54. <laughs> <laughs> We're going 55. But what's up, everybody? How are you guys doing out there? We told you we'll be coming back at you really hard, really strong. Week after week. No more pauses. None of that. We bike. It's late. Yeah. It's past her bedtime, but we pod for y'all. Mm hmm. Because that's what we do. Promise Don't you. worry. I'll after the, after a while, I can stay up late because I won't have to go to work till later. So why is that? Why is that, baby? Mm-hmm. So why is that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think he did. <laughs> Never mind. I thought he said something else. I was like, why is that, baby? You said mm-hmm. Because <laughs> <laughs> I am going back to my old position. So. So, um, yeah, personal reasons why I'm going back and um, I ain't going to talk about it on the pod just because it's, you know, it's too fresh of a, of a People wound. People be listening. Exactly. So I just got to keep it down on the down low. But then once we make it really big, then I can give you all the juicy juice. All right, so guess what this bitch did? No, <laughs> really. But yeah, so she's going back to the call center, so she's going to be going back to PMs. You know what I'm sad about? I'm going to be back to going back to every other weekend. Yeah, I know. That was fun while it lasted, though, wasn't it? It was all right. I didn't I, I didn't like them uh, taking my PTO time on the holidays. Oh, uh, well. Yeah. Besides, besides that. But besides that, I did like being off the weekends because we got to see each other on the weekends. But now it just makes the extra effort we got to put in to see each other. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it won't be no extra effort because, you know, I'm going to be right here, right here, waiting on my baby to come home like... Like I used to do. Have mm-hmm. dinner ready, be sitting here waiting. Now I got to have dinner ready a little earlier because now it takes like 10 minutes to get home versus like 25. So yeah, yeah now I got to make sure I get it done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited um, just for you to be happier. And and to be honest, yes, you going back to every other weekend hopefully will make me record more. We'll see though because I'm known to be a lazy bastard at times. So we'll see if I record a little more. Yeah. We'll see. It's just, you know. I won't be hanging out with my baby. I'll just be here by myself. It's like, fuck it, record. You so. have nothing else but to record. So. Yeah, so hopefully, if I'm not being a lazy piece of shit, <laughs> I will record a lot more videos. <laughs> so we'll see. That's where it is, Yas for the Observer. Yeah. So, we, yeah. We have some, yeah, we we, we always say we're going to get back to it, but we actually are. We almost, he asked me today, he was like, you don't want to pause today? I was like, no, we got to pause today because we ain't yeah, slacking. Yeah, we get, we're getting back at it. We're going to be back on So Mixed Up. Honestly, I'm promising you guys. A video Friday that we're gonna have to record this week for, for, for reasons that I'll tell you off mic. Okay. Well, it's not personal. I just I accidentally deleted the footage, but <laughs> that we had because we had what two videos, right? Yeah. Even though one of the videos I might still have, the one to be shot before we move. Yeah. But uh, the pocky challenge, which I don't think is gonna be a good video anyway because we weren't really on the camera at all. Nope. So that video That's didn't terrible. really matter. We did the one chip challenge, guys. Um, actually, I hold on. Died. Talk to her. Talk to them and I get the package. Yeah, yeah. Um, so basically, Hubby got it on, what's it called? GoPuff. And they had it for like $6 and something cents. Um, and he's like, we got to dry it. So we did the video. Um, the video lasted about 20 seconds because by the time we put it in her mouth, it started chewing. It was really hot. And then I, I left the camera. I left him. Or did you leave me? Nah, you left me first. I left me first, okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, it was hot. It was very hot. Um, I'm, I'm, I might do it again. I will not. For a video? No. Um, it was terrible, though. I you split admit, one. It was terrible. I split one with you, but I'm not doing it, a whole chip. It was very, very terrible. Um, Yeah, like you said, it lasted about... This is the 2021 maybe like edition. 30 seconds. And, yeah, so we spent most of the video out there. Like, if I do it again, maybe I'll get someone else to do it with yeah. me, and you could be our camera person. Yeah. Because I don't think that I can just sit in this spot while my mouth is on fire. I'm going to get up and move. Yeah. So the fact that, we like, we both got up and had to move around and stuff, and the camera was just sitting here filming nothing for, like, 10 minutes, basically. So the video was, eh, we came back and finished and was like, yeah, it was hot. Blah, blah, blah. But, like, the whole reaction basically was just, like, really not recorded. So, yeah, you know, I don't know. I would definitely be the camera girl because I'm not doing that again. Yeah, so maybe I can get someone over here and uh, yeah. do it again and we can like, do it again. We can do, like, a little guest feature on our channel. Yeah, a little guest. Uh, I'm going to get DJ. Yeah, make DJ. He's been wanting to. Uh, what, you know, they can handle it? Doesn't he have something with his stomach that he can't eat spicy food? Oh, I don't know. I gave it a hundred shots in the world and he ate it. But I don't know. He he does have some stomach issues though. So maybe maybe not that. He does yeah. have some stomach issues. But like, hit Mike I said you DJ. <laughs> hit Mike up. Like, yo, Mike, you wanna come over? You know, we can shoot this little video real mm-hmm. quick. And I can record everything. <laughs> well, I think it's definitely some people that can get to get to come over and just, you know, have some fun. Yeah. Like get random or somebody. Ooh. Pop over. Ooh. That'd be fun. We should definitely get random on that. That'd be fun. But um yes guys for this week um that just passed what did we do worked <laughs> um outside of working though this weekend was was kind of busy for the two of us not busy busy but like you know we did things both days mm-hmm. um yesterday I went to my sister's house for a second because I made her some shirts and then I went to my parents' house was over there for a little while. We came back and then we went to a comedy show. My first ever comedy show. <laughs> and it was definitely fun. Um, I had a good time. All three comedians were really, really funny. She has a commemorative glass. Um, it's funny because speaking of glass, when we was there, a uh, waitress dropped a whole <laughs> glass of water on me. So that was that was kind of fun. Like, it not just like a... Oh, like this size. It was like a It was a full, full glass of water. Like, like, a f- like it was like a full <laughs> glass yeah. of water. And just went she was holding it and I don't know if I she I don't know what happened. Maybe she took something off and it threw the balance of the tray off. I don't know what happened, but yes. Yeah, and she went whoom. Whole cup of water just all down my my right arm and my right leg just wet completely wet, still wet after the show that's how much water it was like my yeah. pants leg was still wet after the show and um we got a drink for free because yeah they caught my uh margarita that i had bought um or that i got mm-hmm. and yeah so i mean luckily me i'm always a chill person i don't trip about shit so i'm like when it happened i was just like whatever shit happens like i'm not to be like all upset about it, think, you know what I mean? Like I said, I think I think the uh, people that were sitting like across from us, because like, okay, so I got the tickets. We went to go see Tony Baker and Tony his, Baker. his people that he had come with them. And honestly, I got the tickets kind of early. I didn't know like how good the seats were, so we get there. I give him my little paper. He scans it. He writes like one hundred five. I'm like, all right, whatever. It wasn't he's like one hundred five sharing? I didn't think anything of it. So this lady like leads us over here and she's like, oh yeah, it's 105. And I was like, all right. Like we're literally, here's our table and here's like the stage. Like we were literally that close to like the people, which was kind of cool because I'm like. Yeah, like like honestly, like if Tony put his hand out, I could have dapped him up. Like we were really close. Yeah. Um. So yeah, maybe got really good seats. I mean, I don't know if she got, the, we don't know if she got the seats or if that's just it was random seating, and that's where they chose to sit us. We have no idea. Because the people that were right behind us, we'll, we'll talk about in a second, you know, Mike and them, they set them way, way in the back. So it was like, I don't yeah. know if it was, you know, I, honestly, I don't I don't know how the seating went, you know. I don't know. I don't know if we, because we got there early, they set it down or what it was, yeah. or if just because he scanned my barcode, he just, like, saw it. I don't know. Yeah. Honestly, so, don't know. Yeah, we ended up in the front, which was really, really cool because we were right next to the stage. Um, all three Tony comedians called him were, handsome. Yes, he did. I was looking at him. I should have <laughs> recorded it, but I just yeah. We, I was we didn't too know much at the time that he was gonna, you know, call on me or whatever. So yeah, which was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, all three comedians were funny. Uh, I think the guy in the beginning was Remo Mills. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Keenan Baker and then Tony Baker. All three were really funny. Um, and when we got there, it was funny because I, I ran into my, um, I don't know, friend, old manager, whatever you want to call him. Um, <laughs> I knew him from children. We were cool at children's. And then I went to Christ. He ended up being my manager. And my is not at Christ anymore or whatever. But, but yeah, so we ended up seeing them. I was just... I was talking, like, Margarita was, like, facing here. The glass is right here. She's mm-hmm. facing my way, and I'm facing her. And I just, I see him through the glass. I'm just like, so I go knock on the glass, like, I was like, what's up? <laughs> like, <laughs> so, yeah, we ended up seeing him, and uh, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that was pretty cool. So we chopped it up for a little minute when he, when he first got in and talked about basically this, like, podcasting and videos, because he has a podcast himself. It is a WDY M, what do you mean? So if you type that in, it might come up. Michael G- Gilipsy, Gilipsy, whatever his weird, weird Irish <laughs> last name is, but uh, that's, his, that's, that's his podcast. But uh, so yeah, that was cool to see him, uh, seeing somebody that I knew randomly there. So that was cool. Um, but you have a good time there. I did. It was really fun. Yep, that was my first. That was my very first comedy show, so I really did enjoy that. It was my second. I the first time I saw somebody was Brian Ree and Reagan. Uh, my brother took me to go see him. Um, he was funny as crap, but it was a long drive. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad this one wasn't a long drive. It was yeah, literally it was like, like in 25 town, minutes. So. <laughs> yeah, definitely a lot different. Than, really, you went like Buffalo or some shit? Or? It was like somewhere like up, really up, up north yeah. in Ohio. Like if we took like the right hand side, we would have been like get on the highway to go to New, to New York is how up north yeah. we were. So yeah, it was fun. It was definitely fun. I was, that was like our little like late anniversary gift that i got him um yeah because we've been together for three years and been married for a whole year yeah so. we, I guess we, didn't, we didn't talk about that the last pod we but did. yeah we, we did have our anniversary or our, or our dating anniversary i should yeah. say <laughs> um a few weeks back on the 22nd of september mm-hmm. so that was that was cool yeah um we didn't do we do which, was, which was kind of fun because we didn't do anything particularly for our um, anniversary. anniversary, but we did go to the Reds game like a couple of days before, yeah. which was funny because on our one year anniversary, we went we we, we went to a Reds game, so we it did. was kind of like, you know, I didn't buy those tickets around that time because of our anniversary. It was just once I was finally able to go to a Reds game, it just happened to be that time, and like we only had two more weekends to do it. It was either that weekend or the next weekend, and I just rather had chose the Dodgers versus the Nationals, so that was really the only reasoning behind us going to the game at that time but it ended up being what on the 18th or something 19th yeah. and so it was a few days before our anniversary so you know we could count that as like our you know we did something for our anniversary I think our anniversary fell during the week right yeah like we had to work anyway right? so it's like yeah it's like yeah. a tuesday or wednesday so we weren't really doing anything special and plus we kind of you know um i would say we did something for our wedding anniversary but i don't think we did did we i don't no. remember we worked yeah we're working people <laughs> <laughs> we don't really do much yeah uh we'll change that soon yeah. One of these days we'll change that. Uh, but right now we just kind of work and we don't really overly celebrate, but we like to, you know, do a little thing here and there, like go out to eat or go to a movie, you know, a little tiny stuff. We don't really overly celebrate, but one day I think, I think we will, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, re- I, I'm really trying to overly celebrate my 30th birthday coming up, um, but we'll see if, if I can swing things. I kind of, I told Margarita that I kind of want to go to Mexico, so we'll see if, we, if I can make that happen. I know you can I gotta do. Get a pa- I got to get a passport. We do get a passport for you, mm-hmm. um, and I can do. I'm not gonna do payment plans and stuff like that. So I need to really start looking into it because it's literally less than three months away. So my birthday is not that far off, and I really do want to spend thirty somewhere. And I know Lydia's been like putting pressure on me, not pressure, but like because I brought it up to her, like, yeah, I want to spend thirty somewhere. So I don't know if you want to go somewhere. And then you know me, I kind of backed off a little bit, like, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. She's like, she's like, yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> like at least once a week. She's like. Yeah, so let me know if you, you know, you want to do something for our birthday. You know, it's getting kind of close. If you if you want to do something, let me know so I can, you know, so she can plan on, because she's going to come here regardless for like at least a week. You know what I mean? She always comes here around mm-hmm. Christmas time. So she's like, you know, let me know if I'm coming for two weeks to Cincinnati or if I'm only going for a week and then we're going somewhere else for our birthday or whatever. Just let me know. And I'm just like, yeah, we'll see. I just don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I kind of start thinking about like Mexico because it was, I know it was a lot cheaper than, you know, out of the way place. You know what I mean? So it's like. And it's like out of the country, so it's warmer. Because even in the winter, even places where it doesn't get cold, cold, it's still like kind of too cold to swim and shit. You know what I mean? Even if you go to like Cali or Florida, it's only like in the 60s or 70s. You know what I mean? It still a little might be a little too nippy to, you know, swim. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna look into it and 
and see. But yeah, we do gotta get you a passport. Either either way, I think we need to get you a passport regardless. But even not just because I want to go to somewhere in January, but just just because. Cause then you want to get one that you know the one year we're gonna go to Dominican Republic, but we ended up not going. And you know we ended up not doing the um, the passport thing. But yeah, passport's always cool to have, just in case. You know, you might want to do like a last minute trip, and it always takes like six weeks to get a passport. It's always a unless you want to pay like super extra money to get it expedited, but no one wants to do that. So you know. I mean, I don't see us just last minute trying to go out the country, but you never know. <laughs> you yeah. never know. Something might just come up and it's like, yo, uh, Puerto Rico. Well, I think that's part of the U.S. I don't know if you need to pass to Puerto Rico or not. Let me think of something that's not Dominican Republic. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> go to the Dominican Republic uh, in the next month. Free tickets. Blah, 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 blah. It's like. Oh, my baby doesn't have a passport. You know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> but you know, it's on me. I got a home passport. Yeah, it's, it's like on you, me. You never know. We might have a free trip somewhere, and it's like, but my baby doesn't have a passport. So I'd be like, hey, baby, your go. turn. You can go by yourself. I'm fine. Can't go. Yeah, you know I wouldn't. So we just wouldn't go. But um, so yeah, um, I'm thinking about Mexico, but I just kind of want to bring thirty in style, just because it's like it's thirty. You know what I mean? And me personally, I'm dreading turning thirty, so it's like. I do want to like. Can we? Can we have kind of, fun? Can we capitalize on that? Why are you? I don't know. 30? Thirty just sounds old, and it's like I don't know. I wanted to be more accomplished than what I am at thirty. So you know, it's just kind of things. It's like thirty. It's like that. That grown, grown. You know what I mean? Like you're already grown, but when you hit thirty, it's like all right, now I'm for real grown. And I know that you know I've accomplished a lot. Like you know, on spot, car, married. You know what I mean? Like it's not like I'm in a gutter or struggling or in my parents' basement at 30. You know what I mean? Like, I understand that. So I'm not, like, I'm not saying that I'm not, like, established or I feel like I'm a bum at 30. Like, no, not at all. But, you know, when you have the plans for yourself, you're just like, oh, I plan on this, this, and that at 30. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, I feel like I'm a little little behind my own personal goals. But, you know, so I'm just like, oh, 30 already. Like, that's like, I don't know. That's the new over the hill. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, I would say you are a little bit more established than before I met you. Yeah, for sure. I would say that. I think, sure. you, I think your parents would agree, too. Yeah, like I think I'm, like, like, I, so like I said, I'm not doing bad. And, you know, anybody that's in my position would be like, you know, not anybody. But, like, you know, like people, you know, I, I know people that's not in my position. You know what I mean? So it's like I'm 100% okay. You know what I mean? It's not like I said, I'm not like we're struggling. We can't eat. We're like fucked up we're living in, in, in somebody else's basement or something like i understand all of these things so it's like i'm not i'm not saying that i'm doing bad for regular life just my own personal goals so you know three months until i'm 30 and you know i just kind of want to bring 30 in. and i never really do anything for my birthday like i've never really cared too much about my birthday but i don't know i feel like 30 i'm just like nah, let me bring 30 in in style man let me actually celebrate this like yo i'm 30 like i made it to 30 i'm grown grown now like it's time to you know elevate my life and push for further in life and do great things and i just want to celebrate that like really bring that in like all right let's get to it you know what i mean so you know that's what i want to do for my for my 30 so we'll see (laughs) we'll see if i can make it happen that's the thing so we'll see but um well, yeah, what else did we do this week? Oh, I'll try to go to Top Golf today, but there was a three hour wait, so that didn't happen. <laughs> for his friend's birthday, Dominique. Yes, for Dominique's birthday. He's been on the pod once before, long, twice. long, long time ago. Twice. twice. Yeah. So, yeah, um, it's his birthday. It's a birthday tomorrow, actually. Um, so, we was going to go out. Um, but, yeah, Top Golf was a three hour wait, which is funny because I feel like I haven't been since my birthday, right? But I feel like we tried to go, was that last? No, we didn't go this year for my birthday, did we? That was last year, right? No, I think we went this year, yeah. This year for my birthday? Mm-hmm. Remember the, what, so it must have been the time before last when we tried to go, and it was like a three-hour wait. They were doing that, what was it, like $5 a day or something something crazy that we tried to go to because it was coronavirus, and, you know, they were really trying to get, you know, I guess get people in there or whatever. So they were doing like a really good deal, and I guess everybody just took over that good deal. And we tried to go at like 1 p.m., and it was like school day and everything, like work day, school day. Like I even, because she was off that day. I took off that day. I switched, switched, switched schedules with somebody so I can go. And we went, and it was like so many kids and people. It's like, why aren't you people at work in school? <laughs> like, I'm confused. Yeah. And it, it was like, what was it, a two, three hour wait or something? And we were like, nah, it's never that serious. Like even today, we was like, nah. 
Like it's never that serious to <laughs> wait three hours. Even if I'm putting my name on the docket and going and do something else. Like I said today, it's like there's nothing that I'm gonna do for three hours. Like even if I went to the movies and got out, I'm gonna probably still have like an hour and a half left. Like there's nothing that I can do for three hours. So I'm like, yeah, there's just no point in waiting. Like by the time I got home, like we went out to eat. I went to Walmart. I went to Saran's house and dropped off a little gift card for Riley. Oh. Got to tell you that it was a little. I couldn't. I don't know what the fuck to give a two year old. So I bought her some Dairy Queen gift cards and was like, I can take the kids to go get some ice cream. But she wasn't home, so to put it in the mailbox. But I did all of that. Got back home, and the time I got back home, it was like, it was like ten minutes after the time that we would have been able to go do top golf. It's like no one's like I did all of that, and it was still like just barely time for the time that cause we got there like 5 15 i got home at like 8 45 so it's like like no one no one's waiting around that long like and there after like after it's a i think if it's over an hour wait it should just be like yo we ain't got nothing but like it's a three hour wait you can go put your name on this like no 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 one's <laughs> doing that like <laughs> like no one's doing that so yeah that, that was pretty much a bust but we still had a good time so whatever that's good it's been a while since we hung out, so that was cool. So, you know, I'm really, I was really craving some damn Top Golf, though. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> like, that was in my head. Like, I really like Top Golf. Like, the first time I went with Top Golf was like our first. That wasn't our first date, but it was our first official it, us being together date. When I met her mom, and well, were we dating then, or was that before we did it? Um, so I don't remember. So the first time I ever took him to Top Golf was the day that he had like, to meet my mom and my mom had to give him the okay like you know being a latina you have you know you gotta meet the parents to be like okay you know my mom ha- wanted to meet him so it was the september 22nd was th- which was is our official aniv- anniversary of dating because later on that night we actually went out for our official date and uh we were just going like going to go town downtown i think <laughs> downtown 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 <laughs> yeah um and uh, he, that was the day he, like, cooked for me for the first time, and um, we didn't know it was um, October Did I cook food that day? Huh? I cooked food that day, Yep, because you made mac and cheese. We did a lot that day, huh? Yeah, we went to Top Golf in the morning, or earlier in the day, um, <laughs> met my mom, and then later on, um, I drove to your house, and, or no, you actually, you didn't drive to my house. I actually drove to my work, and you picked me up from the work. Um, And then what else did we do? We went to, oh yeah, we didn't know it was a uh, Oktoberfest, and it was crazy yeah, down crazy there. Crazy downtown. Spang on the swings for a minute. Uh huh. Then we went to Eden Park. Yep. That's what I gave you. Uh, the heart on my neck, on my chest. You can't really see it, guys. Oh my fucking neck. You can't really see it, guys. But um, but yeah, I got her that that night. My neck's out, guys. I I'm dying. This little one right here. Not the big one. The little one. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you can update it. No, that's the perfect one. It's still diamonds. Diamonds. Don't be disrespectful. Don't be winking his diamonds in there. So maybe you take it off and put it up in the uh, <laughs> put it up no, in the camera you frame. Can, you can just update it. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, you, you want an update? You're not gonna wear that one too still. Yeah, I okay, always do. Better. I didn't know you had actually had insurance on the Infinity one that you got me that the yeah, net chain. Infinity? Remember I told you. Oh, yeah, I, we lost it, right? Yeah, cause I, the chain broke, and then I tried to find it. Under, I was at when I was in the cost center, um, children's, and then so for some reason I couldn't find it. Like it just like disappeared. You know when you stuff like you something said, falls right next to you and, and it's, it's like just gone way across the room from damn where yeah, for no I'm reason. Like, what the heck happened? So I like looked. I pulled the desk out like, as much as I could to find it. It was, it was gone. I was not finding. I want to. I mean, insurance probably does, it probably just covers like diamonds falling out and shit. Yeah. Probably doesn't cover losing it, <laughs> getting it replaced. I doubt it. So no, but I did get my ring cleaned out. Um, does sparkle on the camera? I don't know. I don't. Th- I don't think she did a good job, honestly, because I sat there and she and I was just standing in line. She's like, "Oh, there's two other people in front of you." I was like, "Okay," and they were just looking. And then she like comes to me and she's just like, "Oh, so what? What can we do for you?" And I'm like, "Oh, I need to get my ring expected and cleaned out." So she, like, takes my ring, puts it in the solution thing, walks away, comes back three seconds later, pretends she's scrubbing it, and then gives me the ring. I'm like, like, oh, you expected to this. Like, what? what's the whole point? Like, I feel like the the last time I went in April, I feel like the did better. I feel like she actually looked at the ring. She, like, measured my finger again to see how it was. Then she, like, 
put in the solution. She like make sure it was like running well. And then she gave it to me. It shine was so much better than what she did. I'm like this ring still look. It still doesn't. It doesn't even look clean. Clean. Like look at the bottom of it. It's like yellow. No, yeah. Yeah, it looks like she could have did a wave. You know, actually scrubbed it and did a better job. Yeah, so I'm like, what, what the crap? That stupid woman. Yeah, it's definitely not shining like the last one. I mean, the last one was like super duper shiny. Yeah, because I feel like the last one, the lady like left it in there and she like let the machine like actually like it was like she just dipped it in there and just like, ta da! Yeah, you know, make, make it look like I just bought it. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like the other lady that she, the same lady that was, you know, did my ring. I feel like she scrubbed the other ladies better because the machine was actually running when she did her ring and she was like scrubbing it really well. With my ring, she was just like, she, uh, she the machine wasn't even running. She just like dipped it in there and then called it a day. I was like, okay. Like, yeah. Cause, uh, yeah, I remember the last day, they definitely took her time inspecting it and making sure that, you know, everything was together. No diamonds were fa- fell out or. And it was way shiny when she took that. He was like, "Whoa, shit!" Like, yeah. like I just bought that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I need to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if you if you if you're not gonna actually do your your job, right, and work she with just customer service, commission. She, like once she sells the ring, she's like, "I don't fuck it. I don't care about cleaning this shit." I'm like, yeah, then man. don't do whatever. So yeah, my ring isn't as shiny as it's supposed to be, but I actually had a lady. Um, she was like one of the nurses that we came and got a coffee or whatever at Starbucks, and she said, if you use like denture like tablets, it cleans off all the. the Google that. I will. You Google it. I said, make sure you Google it. I just don't want to fuck up the ring. Yeah, she said that she just she just did all her rings. She just. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right, right in the <laughs> mic. <laughs> My bad, y'all. Uh, she uh, she says she does what she does with all her rings. She said because after a while it gets all gross and so she like puts them in like some dentures. Like tablets, and then she just puts her rings in there with like really, really hot water, and then it cleans up all the flaws, and she wears them again. I was like, oh, I might have to try that. Okay, I'm I'm seeing some stuff about it. <laughs> he he had to Google it. He's like, nah. What what's the verdict, babe? Nah, I'm reading it. The problem with it. And the metal settings as well. Okay, the solution is safe for cleaning both gemstones and the metal settings as well as plain gold and silver pieces. Can you clean blah blah blah? Can you clean diamond rings with dirt and other diamond ring cleaning tips? It might work for you. A jeweler of mine swears by ring cleaning properties over stirred and tablet of the ones with dentures. His advice is just a, to pop a tablet in a cup with boiling water for five minutes before running it under the tap and drying with a lint-free cloth. All right, so I got some real shit. Okay, okay, okay. Saudi. I ain't Saudi. I just want to make sure, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, oh, I love to clean my rings with alcohol, you know what I mean? Do you do it and the diamonds start melting. <laughs> 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 That's true. I mean, you would think because you use hand sanitizer and all this stuff, so. True. Alcohol does get on there and all soap and scrubby, so. Yeah, I might just do that myself and just see. Let's see if it comes out shinier. Shinier, because I'm like, honestly, I'm like, geez, like, my husband spent money on this. Yes, quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, let's we'll see what else happened. We got any juicy juice? I don't think so. It was pretty much a dead week. It was slow as shit. I mean, I, I had some juicy juice, but I can't, you know, I can't. Yeah, yeah it can't divulge. Yeah. But yeah, it was pretty much a shitty week on my end. Not shitty, but just, yeah. Boring, like nothing happened. I didn't do much outside of the um yesterday and trying today. Mm-hmm. But other than that, nothing really, nothing, nothing major happened. Oh yeah, I got my car, my and brakes fixed. Yeah, you got your brakes fixed. Spent four hundred and sixty-seven dollars. Look at this. Talked to my car and I was like, "Hey, Scorpio, that's my, that's my car's name." And I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna need you to start running well again because uh, I just spent four hundred and sixty-seven dollars on you." So. You start mm, running. Running pretty good today. Running pretty good today. Oh yeah, you did your own car. I also did something stupid this week. Oh, what'd you do? Bought a book. <laughs> oh yeah. So I, <laughs> I bought a, I bought a book on Tuesday morning, like early, early. I was at work, so it's like you know one o'clock in the morning or something. So it became available. So I'm like, cool. You know, I'll just go pick it up today. And so I go get my car checked out on Tuesday, and then I go 
to the Barnes & Noble way up in Westchester, which is about 15 miles away from here, I guess, maybe like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So I go up there, and I go into Barnes & Noble, and I look around for a while because I'm like, oh, my my book's here or whatever, so cool. So I'm in there. I'm in there for probably about 45 minutes maybe just looking around, looking around. Got a few other books. I got three other books while I was there. But, you know, I'm just looking around, browsing, blah, 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 blah. Go to the front, you know, got my books. Tell her, you know, I also ordered another book, and she's looking for my name. She can't find it. And I go, you know, it's Joshua, it's Israel, blah, 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 blah. She's looking, looking, can't find it. I was like, damn. I said, you know what, ma'am? I I forgot a feeling that I ordered that book in the Florence store. Check the email. It's the Florence store. Now, mind you guys, for people who don't live here, Florence store, from that Westchester store, it's probably 45 minutes away. Like, let's say this is our house right here. Now, the auto zone that I went to to get my car checked out is basically by our house. So we're here. Westchester is, like, up here. Now, Florence is down here. So I go all the way up here, but I really ordered the book all the way down here. So, like, I'm I'm just not going 45 minutes back south for this book. And I ordered the book there on purpose because I figured I can go there before work and then go to work right from that store, which is down south, and then work is, like, up here. Cool. Yeah. And that was the only chance that I really had to go get it because I didn't really have time most of the other week. And the day that I could have got it yesterday, my car was just running so bad that I'm just like, I'm not chancing going all the way to, fuck, to Florence. So, yeah, so I never got that book. So I'm guessing they oh, put, put it back on the shelf. Nope. So I guess they probably put, put it back on the shelf tomorrow and they'll just refund me my money because I never went to go get it. So, yeah, that's what I did. So the day that I could have went to go get it, I I went to fucking Westchester instead. And I never got my book. Dang. So, yeah, that was fun. But that was my only adventure this week. Usually I got a few adventures of stupidity on my end, but that was, <laughs> that was the only one today. So. We got my flu shot on Friday. Hey. Y'all saw, y'all saw the band-aid right there. Rip, Don't you rip, do it. Rip it, off Don't live, you do it. rip it off live on no. webcam. No. Don't you do it. You love me, right? Y'all want me to do it? <laughs> I door to explore. Yeah. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you loved me. I do love you. Why would you hurt me? Because it's Halloween time. Dang, that's messed up. It's Halloween time, guys. Halloween is in 21 days. Yeah. That's my favorite holiday. Um, Baby's favorite holiday is Christmas, so she can't wait for Christmas to get here. Yeah, November 1st, bruh. Nah, dog. That's <laughs> Day of the Dead. How dare you disrespect Day of the Dead? Um, I don't disrespect it. What do you mean November 2nd? You're excited for Christmas. November 2nd is also Day of the Dead. So November 3rd. So you don't want to spend November 1st. So yeah. Uh, so we got about I mean, two more. That's mo- what everybody said. There was like so we got about two more weeks to... Uh, <laughs> 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 Y'all see, this is how our relationship is. She just me off all the time. I got about two more weeks to enjoy y'all pumpkin spices before they gone. You can enjoy them until November. You no, you, you could, but I don't think Starbucks still sells them after uh, oh, um, October 31st, maybe. May, maybe, though, because they got pumpkin pies and all that. So they, they might they might go through November. But I don't know. They put the pumpkin spice out so early. Who knows how early they're going to put the fucking peppermint shit out. It's probably going to be November 1st. They're probably going to put the peppermint that stuff out. peppermint's going to be there by, like, freaking, uh, <laughs> I had a chance to <laughs> Huh? When? She was like, psh, like psh, you know, psh, freaking, uh, <laughs> like, what? But yeah, they're probably going to have that pumpkin. I mean, they're probably going to have that peppermint out by no- November 1st is my is my prediction. Yeah. So yeah, pumpkin spice might be gone October 31st. So just in case, guys, get your pumpkin spice fixed. I got mine. Even though they should fucking let it go through November because you got all the pumpkin spice and, all, I mean, pumpkin pies and all of that. Like, you figure, like, now pumpkin spice, I feel like, pumpkin stuff, I feel like it's become synonymous with Halloween versus Thanksgiving. Like, I feel like when I was growing up, it was more, like, synonymous with Thanksgiving. Like, yeah, you carve pumpkins on Halloween, but, like, it was more like, yeah, it's fall time right now, but it was more like Thanksgiving, you know, pumpkin pies and all of that. Now I feel like it's Halloween. After Halloween, no one gives a shit about a pumpkin anymore, so. Which is which is kind of crazy to me because you would think they would still have, like, pumpkin spice stuff, like, to well, November, yeah, but you, like they at least don't until Thanksgiving is over with. But I figured 
they do that because they're trying to like just how they start pumpkin spice what August first, which is ridiculous. No, they started August like twenty something. I think it was before then. Let me see. I think they always started like the back to school week is when pumpkin spice comes out. So like August, like late the last week in August is when they start doing the pumpkin spice stuff. When did Why? Starbucks? Go ahead. So, yeah, I don't know, cause I went to Trader Joe's today, and I was I wanted some uh I found like some pumpkin spice pretzels. They're delicious. They were like uh pumpkin spice like yogurt covered pretzels. They're so good. I went to go find some, and they didn't have it. They barely had any pumpkin stuff out there, and I was like, what the crap? Like it's still pumpkin season. We haven't passed um. Halloween yet? Mm, 24th. So, yeah. I figured they're trying to get, you know, two, three months out of that. So, I think that, you know, they would let it rock through November, through after Thanksgiving, but then you only got a month until Christmas. So, they're trying to, like, get at least two months worth of Christmas crap out. But, I mean, you don't You really said Target already had some Christmas shit out. It's they fucking, did. it's October 10th. Yeah, I went to, um... Target, because I wanted to see, like, if they had any... I was looking for uh, Halloween lights and see if they had anything. Um, was it? Homing? Halloween lights? Halloween lights. It's a homing. I'm like, ooh, what a dope. <laughs> Some Halloween lights. And I, like, went into the, cri- like the, not the Christmas section, the Halloween section. And, like, part of the Halloween was, like, kind of picked out already. And then I, like, looked over to my, like, left and saw a bunch of like, Christmas lights. I'm like, <laughs> like, we haven't even, like, Just past Halloween yet. Just disrespectful. Like I love Christmas. Look at me, like I love Christmas. Christmas is my she ish. Does. But like, I wanna, I, w- I wanna have like <laughs> holidays. Like I wanna enjoy. Like I, I like, ho- like before. I didn't like Halloween that much because like I didn't like getting scared. But like now that you know I'm married to him, he loves Halloween. Like I like to decorate. I have like little pumpkin stuff and I'll you know little things here. I'll decorate. You know, um. So I want to be able to enjoy decorating like Halloween stuff. And we still have not went to the Halloween store, so we have to go there before. We do get some costumes. Yeah. Because I think we're going. Where you say we're going to your grandparent, her grand, there, whatever. Yeah, we're going out there. So. <laughs> yeah, we're going. My uh, we're going to my sister in law's grandma's house. Cool. So. I just want some candy. I want candy. I want oh. candy. Um. So yeah. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? Like, I love Christmas. Don't get me wrong. I love Christmas. And they're going to start playing Christmas uh, in November, like, after. I love that stuff on Hallmark. But, like, dang, give us, like, give us some more Halloween. Like, let us have some more Halloween stuff. Give us some more pumpkin spice stuff. <laughs> like, jeez. Excuse me, guys. I apologize. Bless you. Uh, bless you. So. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you saudi. Oh, you ad. When you're trying to do something to make a point, I need to. I see. I need to. I need. I need a um, uh, uh, research guy. When we get big, we need a research guy, so we're not sitting here trying to. I mean, like a skip. <laughs> I was like, he's like, I want candy. I want candy. All right, uh, that's it. Um, what else we got? What I else don't we got? Is it uh, is it the time? Is it? Is it? I think it is. Is it? You know what the f they did last week? What did they do? I'm gonna show you. Uh oh. I'm gonna fucking show you. Uh oh. Cause this shit right her. Shut up. Show you guys too, maybe if I can figure out. Nah, I'm da, 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 da. So, uh, what did I do? I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm always like, I got do so much technology shit, but then I feel like I'm so technologically stupid. <laughs> oh, they must have got rid of it. It was no, I think I I I edited it out. But the fucking. They, they 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 flag they they copyrighted it. What the, the relationship thing? Are you serious? Kenny G. They 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 yeah. 
But luckily, YouTube has a has a little spot where you can like, or or an option when they flash or shit, you can just mute the actual song. So I did that or whatever. Granted, we don't make money on our YouTube channel, but it's still like, damn, like for ten seconds of. Flagged it, tagged it, copyrighted it because of that. Like, it wasn't bad. They could still watch it, but it's like, no, you can't make money off of it. You can't monetize it or whatever. But it's like, damn, for, for 30, for not even 30 seconds. It's like 10 seconds that song plays. So, whatever. So but, now we can't use that song. It's so dumb. No, nah, go ahead. Hit that drop. Uh, we'll, just, say, we'll just edit that out for the video. It's cool. I'll just be like, let me, let me, uh, let me make my own version. I'm like, da, 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 da. <laughs> Nah, they probably flag it just from us singing that shit. <laughs> Stupid answers. All right, ready? You ready? You ready for this? And that was it, guy. They flagged that. <laughs> Fucking well. Moron. If um you listen it to a two 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 it on our it's on the audio version you'll get the song you get the song but otherwise you'll get it muted out but it's cool whatever that's all right you'll just it'll be a, a little oh, sk- damn. <laughs> it'll be a little skip to us like you'll oh be like, let's get into our relationship section so how <laughs> are you <laughs> <laughs> exactly how it's gonna go down I can sing for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> babe's like nah babe mm. alright I'm shuffling our car oh I was like what just happened I died ha 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 alright guys let's get into it how do I take you for granted <laughs> for real yeah oh wow <laughs> dang you start first like I think no I gotta think. Um, how do I take how? So wait, hold on. How do I take phone. you for so granted? I'm, I'm okay. Mm, I don't think you do. Mm, yeah, I don't think you do. I think you. I feel like you show appreciation for stuff that I do. So I don't think yeah. that you take me for granted. I don't. I don't feel like I've never felt like you've taken me for granted. So. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Probably patting yourself in the back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a foot on my other foot. Here we go. What? <laughs> I don't know what the hell you was trying to say. The shoes on the other. I don't know. Yeah, shoes on the other foot. But you like, yeah, no, I can't talk today. Words are not my friend anymore. Um. Yeah, I don't think I have anything. Cause you, I mean, you tell me that you appreciate me. So. Like twenty minutes ago. Yeah. So like, yeah <laughs> Go figure, right? Did we get that? <laughs> I'm like, see, see, see. Now, had I not told her I appreciate her today, I been like, maybe she'd have been yeah. like, clink this fucking house and you didn't even say shit. <laughs> like, but I, but I did. Like twenty minutes yeah. ago. So like, yeah, I'm scot yeah. free. Scot <laughs> 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 free for today. <laughs> do another one. We might do three because three. I feel like that one was a little. What do you think is holding me back from my success? Ooh. Ooh. I go first. Um, oh, I'll dang. Play, I'll play, go play. ahead. <laughs> um, I mean, you probably know what I'm gonna say. Um, just your sensitivity and fear of things sometimes. I take that leap sometimes, you know. But that's what I'm here for. I'm like, yo, take that leap, put that shit in, do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't let it. Don't let it. Uh, you know, don't let situations that might not be ideal hold you back from. You know, being the best you could be and and doing what you can do. So yeah, I mean, it's not like that's a secret. I tell her that shit all the time. So whatever, you know, it's not like it's something that's like ooh groundbreaking. Mm, I think yours is laziness. Well, yeah, that and your <laughs> timing, timing. Yeah, I'm shitty with my time management. Yeah, I think so those, shitty. I think those who are you're kind of like your weak points, just because there's be days like you'll be very motivated, and I see it, and I'm very proud of. you proud of you for doing it and then there's days where i see you like not be as motivated and then you're like you're like oh yeah i'll do it and then like time keeps pushing forward and then i'm like babe it's been like a week and a half you're like oh yeah i'll i'll do it and then then you know get back to the period of like you're getting motivated again and you start doing stuff and i'm like 
that's the only thing I think holds you back is like time management and then just being the motivation. Staying part. motivated. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay. One. <laughs> I thought it was the word sex. Uh, <laughs> what's my super sex skill that you can't get enough of? <laughs> super sex skill. <laughs> I have to Dang it. See, this what happens when I said one more. Yeah, uh, she had to go. She had to go three. You know, <laughs> last week we did two, and it was fine. Today she's like three. What is? is it, what's my, my super, super sex, sex skill. skill? I don't know what the fuck a super sex skill is, <laughs> but um, I don't know. No, like, I mean, we're we talking about like, like, I don't know. That's a hard question because, like, because I. There's, like, a lot of things that I like. Like, uh, one that I really love is, like, when you start kissing my neck, that, like, turns me on, like, instantly. No. <laughs> Not for <laughs> the cameras. Um, and then, like, leads to other things. I d- definitely like being played with. Like, not, like, you know, heart, but, like, bedroom playing with. Because that kind of, like, gets me turned on so I can, like, you know, do the deed. Um, That's like a male and female like sex talk, cause like males it's like when I'm turned on it's just like boom I'm ready. Yeah. Women it's just like no I need like thirty minutes. I'm like for real like it's uh, like but I get it. But it's just like uh, <laughs> <laughs> like I yeah I mean I don't know I just feel like cause we have just uh, there's a lot of things that our body does that like can feel good and then can lead to like being that climax you guys just have one thing that you just like ah there it is like we can do stuff and (laughs) like (laughs) that's it like i don't yeah so i feel like for us we like we have like certain points and like things that we want to feel touched and whatever i feel very awkward talking about this (laughs) i had to go for three i know all right your turn so yeah i don't know um your super set skill yeah um, <laughs> I do. I feel like I'm turning so red right now. Let me see. <laughs> it's nothing, guys. You always get on top, which means lets me be just as lazy as I want to be, <laughs> which is amazing. There you go. There you That's go. Better. Yeah. They're good. They're good. <laughs> you want to talk about that guac guac three thousand? No, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Wanna go four four for it? No, look. <laughs> no. Now, now she's done. Look at her. Piping red. Look at her. Look like a goddamn cherry. <laughs> See? That's what happens when you say go for three. She could have just left it like two like last time. I was gonna go for three. We used to go for one. Then it was two last week. That was three. Next she's gonna be like, let's we gotta do half a deck. <laughs> you do this half, I do this half. It's like, damn. All right. Yeah. Um <laughs> I do get on top. You do. Yeah. What do we do other stuff too? It's not like, hold on, guys. I made myself come off like I don't do put in work. Okay. <laughs> it's not always. It's not every. We switch. It's, it's multiple things in one. It's not just like the one thing. So I just had to clarify that because I made it seem like I just lay there all the time. <laughs> and that's not true. <laughs> but we do enjoy that. Mm-hmm. But um, it's a, I think for me, it's enjoyable if I'm on top because. She can just do what she wants, and it's yeah. all on her. So, yeah, like I think with men, it's like eh, you don't have to do much to get us off. It's like, nah, it's gonna happen, you know what I mean? But girls, it's like, no, this spot, this spot up, you move too much on this, and mm-hmm. now I don't have it anymore. Us, it's just like, nah, it's gonna happen. So, it's better off for you to do what you gotta do to get yours because I'm gonna get mine regardless, yeah, so, mm-hmm. yeah, no. But for men, we gotta be like, oh, we can't get ours until you get yours, but then sometimes it's just like, ah, it's been 30 minutes, so we ain't gonna. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm not Superman here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because, I mean, like I said, like sometimes, like, women, we just have certain things. Like, it, especially if it's, like, at least for, I can speak for myself. Like, especially if I have to get, like, turned on. Like, if I'm not, like, already, like, kind of, you know, hot and spicy, then, like, if I got to f- put in that work, it's going to take a little while for me to, like, finish off. So sometimes I just I just want to be played around first and do this, do that, do that, you know, things first because I'm greedy. <laughs> <Just kidding>. <laughs> 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 I mean, because I, I, I know 
him. So I know like certain things that I can do that is going to get him like that. So yeah. That's enough of that because I'm, I'm almost going to listen to the video. I can't, I can't talk about this anymore. Boom. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, I didn't come prepared with a song. I don't think. Did you come prepared with a I song? Do. You got prepared with a song? I got Whatever something. I'm trying to say. Yep. You don't give me your word, Ties. <laughs> I'm like, pop, 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 pop. I'm like, what? Um, it was 11 11, baby. Make a wish live on air. Ooh. I wish that we stay successful and that we grow old together. And that um, we just have respect and we have good communication with each other. Mm -hmm. And I hope that all our business ventures take off. I hope that, you know, um, everything we want to do in life is successful. I hope that I get my motivation and I stay grinded on my channel. I hope that we get our Soul Mixed Up channel together. I hope that people listen to this podcast. And I hope that you are happy and you find a job that you really like. Guys, we hope you have a good week. We hope you get all your goals accomplished. Me, I'm going to try to record some stuff tonight. Later on, I'm my baby go to sleep. Um, I tried to record a bunch last night. I ended up recording, I think, three videos last week. Though. I wanted to do a lot more. But I was having a lot of technical difficulties. And then when I figured them out, it was like 3 in the morning. So then I only got a few videos recorded. But hopefully tonight I can get a good plethora of videos recorded. And, um, yeah, be back at you guys next Monday. Um, have a good week, guys. Uh, be safe out there. Don't wash die. Wash your hands. Wash your ass. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. And your face. And your face. Because some of y'all faces be dirty. Um, Crusty. Ugh. ugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any important words? No. Um, just uh, make sure you guys be nice to each other. This world is uh, find crazy. A, find this chip and eat it. Yep. And eat that chip. Hot as hell. We d We don't. Don't 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 eat the chip because I don't want y'all to be like you told us to eat the chip. No, no, just do it at your own risk. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, guys, it's been a blessing. We'll see you guys next week. I got some chicken wings to eat. Do see.